hey guys so i'm back to do a quick little weekly check-in like i say weekly ish check-ins because it may not be exactly a week but today is may 6th so april is over y'all april is over and i need to get my monthly planning done for may if you guys watched my previous video you would have uh, learned of my may goals but to keep myself organized i know that i need to put it somewhere so i can see all of my monthly planning in its entirety for the rest of the year and so i'm going to transfer that over to my template but really quickly i do have some exciting news if you guys missed it in my community tab i am down to one credit card i don't know how i did it but i paid off my smallest city balance uh, I started with about a little over two thousand dollars and I started the month with about eight seventy seven and I got that knocked out in April so we're just down to one credit card y'all we're down to one credit card and then I'll be moving on to my student loan and then I will just be figuring out what to do after that but I am so excited it feels like I have been crawling to the finish line but I know you know looking at everything it's, it hasn't been as dramatic as i've been making it seem in my mind so i am gonna go and screen record so you guys can see what i'm doing per usual y'all know the routine all right so we're trying this again this is my april planning that we did so it was to pay off my smallest city card and last time we checked uh, as of April 7th I don't think I did my last check-in I said I was going to document it and I didn't um so April 7th it was at 252 we started off the month of April at 877 now we have a zero dollar balance so that is paid off I wanted to get the garage and living room fixed you guys have already seen that is completed and I will say I did say that I was not absolutely satisfied with the paint job. I'm going to show you guys why. I'm going to include like some screenshots. It just was not a good experience and I will not be using them ever again. So I'm going to dedicate some time maybe next month when the kids are out of school to buy some supplies. I've already got the paint. Just I just need like a paint roller and I'm going to paint it my dang self because i've proven with all my accent and wall like girl you can just do it yourself so my wall is done garage is done i'll have to dedicate some time to repaint the garage too because that looks very splotchy i think it's the texture that they put on the wall for some reason the way that they did the texture it just looks very splotchy and the ceiling they made it thin as paper they redid the whole ceiling and it just looks not good but either way it goes we got a wall we got some paint and it's it doesn't have to be perfect so that's me trying to keep myself from spiraling um now third goal was to pay 200 dollars on my city card i started the month at 29.37 i wanted to get it to 2700 that did not happen it is still at 29.08 as of date so this is going to be the one that we're tackling for may um and then i wrote up my task in the receipts uh, in regard to what I, I i had actually accomplished and i did a terrible job putting all of my receipts down as i made them but you know we got the the main idea here so let's see i need to document or duplicate this for may because i want to put down my may goals actually get it out of the note section of my phone and on here so i do want to dedicate some time to read so i am reading atomic habits love it love it love it by james clear i uh, recommended it to you guys in the previous video we're getting dark why are we getting dark 
and it's already helping me a a lot i feel especially when it comes to changing my spending habits some of the spending habits that i have um i just want to find better use for my personal funds i know your personal funds are your personal funds you use it as you wish but i just feel like i could just be do i could do something else with these personal funds besides spending it on coffee so i want to read to chapter 10 if i could spell atomic habits that way i can get to uh halfway the halfway mark preparing for june and then i did say that i need to get my car fixed it has the engine maintenance light so i need a part that's connected to the ac whatever that little part is that's leaking engine maintenance um get that done so get the car fixed that's going to cost me about a thousand dollars if my calculations are correct that's mainly what i've seen people pay for it hopefully it comes a little lower uh, and hopefully it does not come any higher so i'm prepared for a thousand then i want to make my coffee at least five times a week and just like leave going out for coffee maybe on the weekends or on a friday i will say like trying to curb habits before what really worked for me was having designated days for this certain thing so if i am trying to drink more coffee at home i have designated at home coffee days and designated outside coffee days and that way like i can get super excited for the outside coffee days and i make them like towards the end of the week that way you know i do good throughout the week and i can kind of like treat myself and i have something to look forward to that is what really helps me so i've been making coffee five times a week like i said to free up more personal funds so that i can find something else to do and it is gonna be summertime i'm not putting my kids in summer camp <laughs> So we're going to have to find other things to do. And then for my city card, I do need to get my last credit card down to $2,500. So that's about exactly actually $408 that I'm going to need. Ooh, not that much. That is the goal, $408. Um, and I feel like I can do it if I could pay off 877 last month I should be okay with half that amount to get to the $2,500 goal and if I can exceed that then that's great but I probably won't because May is just keeping my head above water month um, actually and I just don't want to bombard myself and then last goal is to increase my side hustle income by $500 I just want to add in an extra 500 because I have been kind of stagnant um, and got I've gotten really comfortable and complacent and I'm not trying to apply myself and try other things so I don't know we'll just see I am going to put my best foot forward and I have been doing quite well these past six days so hopefully I can keep it up throughout the entire month. Um, now the obstacles I've already talked a bit about the obstacles for May but um, obstacles are my daughter's MRI bill I do owe about it should be about 1200 now 1200 for the MRI bill one of you did recommend like that I apply for assistance you know despite what your income is you can it's always worth it to try um, and that did encourage me to finish filling out the form for that and to send them um my statements so hopefully they can adjust it a little bit and i won't have to pay the full amount but um i don't know i've just been kind of burned when it comes to assistance like uh reduce lunch and things like that they always deny me <laughs> they always deny me and say that i make too much so i'm really hoping this is not the case because that will help me out if i could at least get it reduced by half um, it won't be such a big liability because i do need to schedule some more appointments for her and i only have about 
I want to say about $1,500 left in my HSA funds and I would I have to stretch that out throughout the entire year um, and so yeah we're, we're gonna be cutting it close if I have to use those funds to pay that MRI bill so I'm really really trying not to or to at least stretch it until we roll into the next calendar year and then I get my uh, additional um, HSA funds despite what I'm putting in there each month because I know that's just not gonna cut it for what we need so the MRI bill um, more, more car repairs I don't think I should have any more I've gotten the uh, tires replaced that was about 500 my last uh, the last time I went in for my tire rotation I don't need an oil change just yet but I'm thinking that I might need brakes because homegirl is screaming and I don't know why I need brakes and I just got the car last year it is used so it's pre-owned but I'm like dang did y'all not do like five star checkpoint or whatever it is that y'all sold to me whenever you were saying that this car has been checked out from front to bottom rooted to the it's like why is everything kind of breaking down I'm, I'm kind of Toyota I expected more of you I expected more of Toyota I really thought like Toyota is it I'm not gonna have these problems but you know that's what happens when you get pre-owned and that's what happens when you have a car so it is what it is and other obstacles I anticipate I think that's gonna be it like the medical bill Car, oh car repairs and then <laughs> taxes taxes I owe shoot I think I'm at about $1,700 left in taxes which will probably be something that I really focus on for June so that I can get that knocked out but I have $1,700 that is left excuse me for the dog but $1,700 left uh, for taxes I put myself on a payment plan um, and so I have a monthly payment amount that's going to be taken directly out of my bills account so I did have to budget for that um, but that's something that's kind of hanging over my head too like yeah we're doing this but you need to make sure that you focus on this and once this is done so June is going to be a wild ride but I'm feeling pretty good especially being down to um, my last city card and I'm excited to see where I can get my balance this month I don't side hustle income is kind of just everywhere it's up and down all around so I don't really know um, what to be expecting anymore I had a set amount that I could expect but now it's just really 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 up and down and I don't even check anymore especially like with YouTube I'm girl I'm not gonna check anymore as long as I have a contracted amount like if I'm working with the brand which I still am um, I just rely on that and then whatever YouTube gives me is whatever YouTube gives me <laughs> so we're just gonna rock with it that way um, once again I thank you guys all for your support always tuning in leaving me down below encouraging messages and also like doing these check-ins with me so definitely let me know how are we feeling are we feeling like we are off to a good foot or we just need to throw this first week in the trash and then start over a new for next week um, I'm feeling pretty good I'm feeling pretty positive but every day is like an up and down kind of day so we'll see for next week how you know how things are going and I'll see how things are going with you but until next time I will catch you guys in the next video